and here we have it the electrically powered pendulum clock the first run up of my prototype pendulum clock with its electrically powered pendulum. Now this is the basis of the clock uh, hand cut gears basically these and these are just a 12 to 1 ratio between the minute hand and the hour hand. So these two coils are what powers the pendulum to and fro, just giving it a momentary kick as it goes past. But the coils there, if you follow that wire along, you'll see it's connected up to this here adjustable power supply. So we've got the power supply over there, which is powering up the coils down there just momentarily just making the pendulum go backwards and forwards but obviously we need something to power up the coils at just the right moment and this is how we do it up here the hip trigger miss one pulse of power. Trigger here, making a switch work there. Power supply, powering up the bottom of the pendulum as is going to and fro. So here a piece of cotton, here another piece of cotton, taking a movement from the pendulum up into the clock itself. So now you can see a piece of cotton on one side here going up into the clock behind these gears. And there it is attached onto the end of this mahogany rocker arm. And as you can see as the cotton there is pulling it, that arm is rocking up and down. And round the back of the clock there's a better view of that rocker arm being pulled up and down by the piece of cotton and on the back of the rocking arm another pivoted piece of mahogany which is the ratchet clicker as you can see that's pushing that wheel round one tooth at a time and there are two of these ratchets one on either side of the clock you can see they're pushing the wheels around alternately left, right, left, right ratchets driving the ratchet wheels around and around turning this shaft here which runs through and operates you can just see a brass worm gear here and in this brass worm gear which in turn makes this one go around and on the other end of this shaft here is the minute hand at the front of the clock so we go from the middle shaft here one revolution an hour and we want to make the hour hand go round one revolution every 12 hours so that one there 8 driving 24 is 3 to 1 this big gear drives the 8 driving the 32 which is a 4 to 1 so 3 to 1 out 4 to 1 back in it's a 12 to 1 ratio between the minute and the hour hands hurrah Because this clock is based on these plans, three quarter second pendulum electric clock by John Wilding. He's done a lot of good stuff. It's 
very loosely based on it though I think he'd be horrified <laughs> 